everybody. We're taking a moment to talk to our good friends at Hendrick Motorsports. Here with us today is the one and only Doug crew member. How you doing, Doug? Just to clear this up, my name is Landon Walker, and I'm the gas man for the number 24 pit crew here at Hendrick Motorsports. Uh, sorry, my notes are all jumbled. Who wrote? Mm, must have been Munch. Doug! It's Landon. My friends out there would love to hear a couple of fantastic facts about racing and race cars. Mind if I pose a few cues? <laughs> you mean ask me some questions? Sure, cue away, Chuck. I think the first thing anyone wants to know about racing is, how much does a race car weigh? That's the first thing people want to know? According to my notes, yes. One of these cars weighs 3,330 pounds. Well, that's about the max weight of a full-grown choir. Uh, I don't know what that is. The guar, also known as the Indian bison, is a bovine native to Southeast Asia. In Southeast Asia, the global population was estimated at a maximum of 21,000 mature individuals in 2016, with a majority of those existing in India. Uh, Doug? My name is Landon. Sure, this is Carfax, not Garfax. Right, right, sorry about that. Okay, how heavy is a race car, say, compared to you? Oh, I'd say roughly 18 and a half times heavier. Okay, I can work with that. A race car weighs 18 and a half dugs. <laughs> and how fast does a race car go? 18 and a half landings. Top speed is about 190 miles per hour. To put it in the perspective, the fastest time a human ran a mile was three minutes, 43.13 seconds. A race car at top speed on a straightaway will cover that mile in about 19 seconds. Wow, that's really fast. What's your best time running a mile? Uh, no comment. Thanks for joining us today. My pleasure, Chucky. See you down the road. Ah, I like that. Well, everybody, we learned some fun facts today. And we'll check in again with our friends at Hendrick Motorsports soon. And I'll see you down the road. Hey, that was my line. It's collaborative, Doug. It's Landon. <laughs> everybody, we're back talking with our friends at Hendrick Motorsports. Landon, great to see you again. How's it going? It's going well, Chucky. Hey, Chucky. Ronnie, what are you doing over there? I'm interested in working on race cars, and they're teaching me the tools of the trade. Uh, Ronnie, one of those is a hair dryer. Yeah, uh, we gotta look good while we work on these cars. Uh... Having your hair on point is very important here at Henry Motorsports. What's that? Uh, oh, hair gel, got it. Later, Chucky. Landon, got a question for you. Not related to personal grooming. <laughs> a race car goes around the track once, and we call it a lap. How many laps do cars typically drive during a race? Well, the number of laps depends on the race. A driver could take 250 to 500 laps per race. Wow, how many miles is that? It depends on the size of the track, but anywhere from 250 to 600 miles. For some context, 600 miles is about the distance from New York City to Charlotte, North Carolina. That's incredible. Must take a lot of endurance. Oh, it does. Race car drivers are tough. They're athletes. Do they ever get dizzy going around in circles that many times? <laughs> you might think so, but no. How long does it take to complete one lap? Again, it depends on how long the track is and how fast the car is going. It could take as little as 19 seconds or up to 2 minutes and 15 seconds. Either way, that's super fast. How many cars are out there racing? 40 cars. 40? That sounds crowded. It can definitely feel crowded sometimes. Drivers have to be very focused during a race. Oh yeah, I can imagine. We've got a problem! <laughs> Kyle's favorite hairbrush fell into a barrel of motor oil! Alright people, we got a hairbrush down. Sorry Chucky, gotta go. Let's move it. All hands on deck. Wow, they do take their hair seriously. Well everyone, be sure to check in for more fun racing facts from the great people at Hendrick Motorsports. I'll see you soon! Once again, joined by Landon from Hendrick Motorsports. Landon, we appreciate you being here, and we're looking forward to some fun racing facts. Good to see you again, Chucky. Are we late for the race? Munch, Ronnie, what are you two doing here? Ask him. I agreed to this, but under protest. 
I heard there was a race, and I wanted to race. And I read on the internet that you need horsepower to make you go fast. And so I got a horse. As I already told you, I am not a horse. Sure, uh, but don't you have some special horse powers? Fellas, I love you, but I can't do this right now. Color me relieved. What color is relieved? Sorry, Landon. Where were we? Couldn't tell you. But speaking of horsepower, did you know one of these cars has 670 horsepower? And for those who don't know, what does that mean exactly? Well, horsepower refers to how powerful a car's engine is. So that car's engine is as powerful as 670 horses? Well, not really. Horsepower is a standardized unit of power. Actually, a horse can put out a max of about 15 horsepower, and a human can put out a max of about 5 horsepower, but neither can sustain the power output for very long. Interesting. And a race car has more horsepower than a regular car, right? Oh yeah. The average car has around 180 to 200 horsepower in its engine. So a race car engine is about 350% more powerful than a regular car. I should get one of those. You're welcome to come down and drive ours anytime. I may take you up on that. <laughs> well, everyone, thanks again for stopping by for some fun racing facts. Stay tuned for more really soon. Munch just rode by on a stick horse, didn't he? Yes, he did. Horse power! everyone, we're here again with Landon from Hendrick Motorsports. Landon, thanks for stopping by. Glad to be here, Chucky. Now, Landon, today I want to ask you about flags. During a race, we see a bunch of flags being waved at different times. So I'm going to bring some in and I want you to tell us what they mean. Sure, no problem. Okay, first one. The green flag signals the start of a race. Just think green light for regular cars. Makes sense. How about this one? The officials wave a yellow flag to signal drivers to slow down and proceed with caution because of a hazard on the track, usually from an accident or debris or sometimes when there's light rain. Got it. I have a feeling I know what this next one means. Yeah, red flag is basically like a red light. It means stop. The race is halted when conditions on the track are too dangerous to continue racing. They'll have the drivers pull off until the race can resume. Safety first. How about this flag? Does it mean surrender? The white flag is waved when there's only one lap left in the race. Definitely not the time to surrender. Oh, exciting. Next one. Uh, I believe that is the flag of Canada. Not racing related. <laughs> Just making sure you were paying attention. Ooh, black flag. That might be in trouble. If the flag is furled, rolled up on the stick, that's a warning that there's a problem with your equipment or your conduct. Like you're not playing by the rules. If you don't fix the problem, you'll probably get an open black flag. And that means you're disqualified from the race. Oh man, we wouldn't want that. This one's cool. So each race is divided into stages, usually three stages with breaks in between. The green checkered flag signals that a stage has ended. Cool, and here's the one most people know. Yep, that's the checkered flag. That means the end of the race. If you're first driver to see it, then you just had yourself a pretty great day. Awesome, and how about this one? <laughs> That's also not related to racing. I believe that's a pirate flag. If you see it coming at you on the high seas, well, you're probably not about to have a great day. Looks pretty cool, though. Thanks again for explaining the different flags to us, Landon. Will you come back for some more fun racing facts? Anytime, Chuck. Just wave the green flag, and I'll race over your way. Sounds good. All right, everyone. Thanks for dropping in. We'll see you all soon.